very gloomy, grey, cold afternoon in January. And uh, that means we're using a lot of firewood in the house. So today we're doing a bit of log splitting. Final three bags of uh, applewood and ash. And we have a brand new log splitter to us from JSA, James Silk Air Group. This is a bit of a beast of a log splitter. It's 20 tonne. As standard, it just comes as the log splitter itself. But I have had the added option of a table, which it bolts to. And that has legs that you can pick up with pallet tines, extended hoses for the uh, extra height. And it just puts the log splitter a nice working height as well as having space either side for putting your, your unsplit logs and your split logs to then chuck into wherever you're going to put it. So, uh, yeah, it's a two-handed operation, which makes it awkward for filming and stuff, but uh, there we go. As I said, 20 tonne, it's really heavily built, and I'm yet to find anything that it won't go through. So, hard, very hard wood, so it'll, it'll split no problem at all it's got a checker plate base to stop the logs from sliding and uh, yeah overall it's a fantastic bit of kit really enjoying using it so far So there we are, some split logs ready for the fire, thanks to this uh, new 20 ton log splitter from James Hill Agricultural, really good bit of kit, will go on any size tractor I'd say from about 25-30 horsepower, all you need is a hydraulic spool supply and a return back to the tank. So, Plastic tractors, compact tractors, medium sized tractors like this one, you'll be fine. Uh, it has Cat 1 and Cat 2 linkage. And if you don't want the base, it is available just as the log splitter itself for I think it's around 1300 quid for just that. So it's pretty competitively priced, really well built. The main Part of the, uh, the splitter is an RSJ, so you know, structural steel. I think the 
maximum length of log you can have in there is about 650 mil. And it's just a, a single spool lock. I mean, the one thing I would quite like to have on this is a self return. So when you click that up, it returns itself. But one disadvantage to that, I guess, is um, if you're only doing short logs, it'll keep returning it back up to the top and you've got to wait for it to come down again. So six of one, half a dozen the other, really. Um, as for all log splitters, you need two hands to operate it. Probably there's a way that you could convert that to a single handed if you want, but uh, I'm not uh, condoning that action. Um, what else is there to say about it? Not much, it's a log splitter. So it's a two pack polyurethane finish. You can have it in galvanised finish as well, so if you want something it'll last forever and ever. But I intend to keep mine indoors mostly, so it's not really going to suffer too much but uh, yeah if you're interested in one of these uh, log splitters and contact james at uh, james hill agricultural i'm not actually sponsored by him but uh, i'm just really pleased with the uh, the machine um and also you can contact myself if you're interested in one we can supply them so yeah great bit of kit for for winter log splitting and uh, thanks for watching.